In the last story, we talked about why schools across the nation are banning phones. However, while we've heard from educators and staffs about their perspectives, students themselves have yet to have their voices heard. I don't think the phone ban is necessary because if a teacher wants me to put my phone away in class, they can ask me to or they can take it being in class. But if there's an emergency on campus, I think I should be able to reach my family and reach my parents to be able to tell them what's going on and like to let them know I'm safe. I mean, it's necessarily for the quiz, for example, but for the regular classes, maybe not, because there's like some students like me have the special situation, maybe for the language. At Windward High School, just 30 minutes from Maricosta, ninth graders are required to place their phones in lockable pouches for the entire school day. The communication part is uh, bad for me when I'm trying to communicate with people, so I have to resort to something worse like email on my iPad or something. While some students acknowledge the purpose of the yonder pouch, others are resisting the new phone ban and finding ways to avoid it. At Berkeley High School, reports indicate that some students are breaking or vandalizing the pouches. And while some are protesting in person at school, others are rallying support online, with several petitions circulating to abolish the use of yonder pouches altogether. Referring to the previous story, the yonder pouches reportedly cost around $25 to $30 per student. Instead of investing in these pouches, that money could have been better spent on hiring additional teachers and improving the campus infrastructure. Although Costa hasn't resorted to paying for these pouches, teachers at Costa have taken to other strategies to keep students off their devices, such as phone pouches, taking phones away, and restricting phone time in class. Some students rely on their phones even just to communicate. Bing Bing Lao, a 10th grader at Maricosta High School, speaks Mandarin as her first language and uses her phone as a translator. History it has some reading, some parts for reading, and it's kind of ancient English. That's a little bit hard for me. And yes, so I sometimes use my phone to translate. Because the phone ban is signed into law for 2026, it is critical that students' voices okay. speak out before anything becomes official at Costa. For the Mustang Morning News, this is Raquel Bowen and Bryn Berry.